Bang! Neves Knives, I'm Jared, and here we have two knives from Boker that are the best Bokers I've ever experienced in my life. And I'm saying both of them because they are very, very similar, almost identical. And we'll talk about all that here in one second. But the reason why these are executed so, so well is because they're made by React. Yes, React Knives has made these Bokers, which we already know they they can't miss. You know, they just they knock it out of the park every time. And my goodness, I cannot even believe that this is a Boker because it's so damn good. Now, I know I keep saying this, I keep saying it, but this might be the best front flipper I've ever experienced. Now, I know you guys are going to say, you said that about the last couple knives. Yeah, but look at this. I can flick this with my middle finger. Like, can you? have you ever seen a front flipper that you can flick with your middle finger? I mean, that is crazy. It is so, so fidgety. I mean, like, you can do it with any knuckle. I can do it with the tip. I can do it with the first knuckle. I can do it with the back knuckle. I can do it with the thumb. I can do the reach over the top. I mean, it's the side. There's so many ways to fidget with this front flipper. It is the fidgiest front flipper I've ever experienced. Now, I will be honest, this one has the lighter detent between the three. But if I thought that this one was a little bit too strong, which I do not, by the way, I do not. I just, I'm just saying that this one's a little bit more fidgety just because it's a little bit lighter. This is still amazing. And so is this one. Um, but if I did think that, I would just tune it because it's so easy to tune a lock bar. I would just back off the pressure slightly, which I don't need to. I'm just saying if I wanted to. Um, but yeah, the jimping. Oh yeah, let me go back to why they're both on the billboard for the best boker ever. And I'm going to say which one I like the best too. So the front flippers are identical. Identical front flippers. Same exact jimping. Same exact pocket clip. Bolster locks. Same exact hardware. Both have full hollow ground M390 blades, full hollows. So this is a full hollow all the way up to the spine. It is so, so thin. I think I measured it like nine thousandths behind the edge. Very, very thin. But then it's got a thick enough spine that the front flipper is very comfortable, which is awesome. And then another thing, the lock bar access is identical. So, so much is identical to these two. So basically what you're gonna get is one's just bigger. And that's why I like this one a little bit more. Now, I like the way this one looks a little bit more with the hole, but the hole is not useful. I can't use the hole. The hole doesn't work. It's just too, it's too tight. So since the front flipper is the only thing that works, this is the one I like a little bit more. And it's because even though I can get a full four finger grip on this, so this is very, very comfortable. I can get a full four finger grip. It's gonna be plenty slicey, all the good stuff. I like this blade shape just a little bit more. It's like an elongated straight clip point that's just beautiful, almost like a drop point. Oh my goodness, is that a sexy blade shape. So this is going to be not only a blade that has some reach to it, you could do great utility cuts, you can slice with it, you can turn it around and cut straps. It is an amazing, amazing, knife as far as usefulness goes fidget factor build quality tolerances all the way across the board every bit of this thing has just been so surprising to me i cannot believe that this is boker man well it's react so let's just be clear it is react but i got to applaud boker right now for using react as an oem i i'm happy that they are getting with the program and using a company that's known for good quality. Now, here's the thing though. They are not super cheap. They are pretty expensive, but I, I honestly feel like they're well-deserved. Um, Boker has been known for taking their prices a little bit over the top with some of their premium knives, but in this case, I don't, I think it's well-deserved. And I say that because they are so, so good. Um, like this could possibly be like one of the best knives of the year. I know I just did the top 10, but uh, I couldn't put this in that video just yet. You know, I had just gotten them and you know, so on and so on. But man, I, I, I'm saying that this, this is, this thing has so much potential. It's insane. And I absolutely love it, man. I love this grind. Now, I will talk about a couple negatives, but yeah, man, these things, they, they knocked it out of the park. Great access to the lock bar, very smooth on the drop. Like I said, this one has the lighter detent of the three, so it's a little bit more fidgety, but um, 
you know, that's like I said, I could, I could tune that myself. These ones are still extremely, extremely fidgety. Like, look at this. Very, very smooth. Very smooth on the drop. But before we talk about the negatives, the centering is per as perfect as you could get on both of them. I don't know if I've ever even seen a Boker that was centered. And I don't mean to drag Boker, but Boker has always been a company that I've always looked at like... They have nice designs. I love your designs, but you always miss something. There's always something, something that's missed. And the miss is always something that to me makes the knife feel premium or not. Now, in this case, they didn't miss. This one, they, they, they the home run, 100% home run. But let's talk about a couple negatives. One, Sharpening tool and plunge grind, you guys already know. You guys knew that was coming. I don't think I have to say it. It's coming. But I could easily cut in my own choil if I want to. You could easily notch out your own choil uh, because... It, and you see how easily I reverse or I flick that with my left hand? Isn't that crazy that I can easily do that with my left hand? Like, this is that's crazy to be able to do that. My fingers are on the lock bar and I can still do it. Um, anyways... The point is, though, is that I could cut in a, a choil if I want to, or after, let's say after I've sharpened it a bunch of times, I could do it then. The next thing is T6s down here. Why did they put T6s? This one has T8s. So another reason why I like this one a little bit better, T8s across the board. This one has T8s except for the body screws right here. They're T6s. So the only two negative things I could find on this entire knife are those. I wish it had a little, I wish it had a sharpening notch, which I could add myself, and the T6s on this one, not on this one. Oh wait, there's one more. Sorry, sorry, one more small negative. And it is small, it's not that big of a deal, and I think it might break in, but the clip is a little tight. You know, the clip is a little bit tight. It works, it works fine. You know, it's not that big of a deal, but it, it does have a little bit of tension a little bit more tension than you might think it's going to have, but it still works, so not that big of a deal. All in all, Boker, you are getting my round of applause for sure. So I am definitely applauding them for this amazing, not only amazing design that they've had for a little while, but for letting Riet do, or not letting, but having Riet do this knife and taking it over the top. This hollow grind is sick nasty. I mean, it is extremely sick nasty. These are gentlemanly, good looking, attractive knives. I mean, these things are super attractive, right? At least to me. To me, these things are so eye-catching to me. I think they're gorgeous, 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 gorgeous knives. So, you know, to take this beautiful design and then execute it exactly how it should have been executed all along, good job on them. You know, I think uh, maybe, maybe they're coming around. Maybe Boker's coming around. I don't know. We'll see in the future because this is one case, right? I do have one other Boker that I do think is really, really nice. I, not like this, but I do think it's really nice. We'll talk about that in another video. But until next time, thank you for watching. Peace.